How's it going, guys? My name is TJP. Welcome back to another EA Sports College uh, Football 25 video here today. So, we're doing another Dynasty video. Uh, for those that don't know, we're going to be doing four seasons. Injuries are on pretty much the normal rules. Uh, I will say this. Uh, I turned off the firings. That way I don't get fired after four seasons. I was going to do five, but yeah, we're going to stick with at least four seasons. Maybe I'll do five. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll change it up. We'll decide as I'm recording, but uh, yeah, essentially what we're going to do is spin a wheel to decide which team we're going to be doing. If you have a team suggestion, leave them down below in the comments for next time. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the content. Comment down below some of my video ideas, like I said, or teams that you want me to do. Uh, socials play the second channel, main channel, as well as the rules are down below in the description. And my, let's just get on to the gameplay, I guess. Yeah, that's pretty much all I got. Let's do it. Who we do is in. All right, so we already used uh, Arkansas State, so that if that lands on that somehow, we will not be using them. And we got the Wisconsin Badgers. So that'll be the team that we take control of. Let's hop on into it. All right, so before we kind of get on into the recruiting and all that fun stuff, let's just take a quick glance at what we have on our squad, um, our roster. So... Uh, looks like some of our best players are relatively, you know, juniors and seniors to so upperclassmen. We got a lot of guys, but uh, we are a good school. So Van Dyke is our QB, uh, Tyler Van Dyke, starting QB. Our running backs got Malusi, Walker, Jackson, Acker. And by the way, if I mispronounce these names, I mispronounce their names. Uh, Gladman is our fullback, Pauling. Green, Williams, Anthony the second, wide receivers, our tight end, uh, Nowakowski. Uh, we've got Nelson, left tackle, Jack Nelson. Left guard is Brunner, and he's only a sophomore. Senior, Renfro is the center. Right guard, Huber, and then uh, we've got JP as well. There's your right tackles, Malman, Jr. Neal's our left end. Right end, Thompson, Jr. Barton. And the boys, Peterson, left outside linebacker, mid linebacker. You got you know, Thomas Cheney, Cheeks, is your right outside Pius. And then um, Hallman's our best player in anyone overall, junior. So that's uh, nice to see. We got Brown, Zachman, all those boys. Uh, strong safety is Hunter Waller. He is going to be a senior. And then we got Moore as his replacement. There's your kicking and your punting as well. Should be fun. Uh, obviously, the biggest thing, of course, is recruiting. And the one thing about this school, obviously, it's definitely a little bit better than uh, Arkansas State uh, in terms of possibly getting players on the team. So, um, yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll be able to get some high, much higher targets, I'd say. So we'll see. I'm going to open it up. And... Uh, Try to get some guys on the squad. So let's. All right, so we have our first commit here from Westchester, Ohio. Four star commit, Deshaun Williams. Running back. So I like that pickup for our team. So he's coming over to Wisconsin and he's joining our program. Our next commit here, Tavares Fink from Cedarburg, Wisconsin. Quarterback. Four star uh, player there. So he will be joining our team. He'll be our new QB, I guess, going forward. Uh, for the time being. So yeah, welcome to Vars Fink to our squad and program. As well as Roger Madden from Akron, Ohio. Four-star uh, right tackle. You'll be joining the Wisconsin Badgers program. Wonderful stuff there. Do we have any other commits? No, we do not. Give you guys a quick little update of where we are right now. So we're currently three and four, which I mean isn't amazing. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys kind of like where we are at. So, if we take a look at the season stats here uh, for the team, I mean, Van Dyke has been pretty solid. Um, you know, nothing too crazy about it um, from Tyler Van Dyke. Our rushing, Lucy and Van Dyke. Then we got White as well. So, you guys see the rushing leaders in terms of receiving 619 from Vinny Anthony. He's got ATDs as well. He's been really good. The junior. We got a lot of juniors here. Some seniors, but... Uh, Rising Green is a senior. Uh, in terms of sacks allowed, honestly, we've been pretty solid uh, as a line. So that's good to see. 
In terms of our defense, 54 tackles from Thomas to lead the team. Five tackles for losses for Thompson Jr. to lead the team. Uh, I see five and a half sacks from John. James Thompson Jr. with five. Two and a half from Neal. So pretty good there. Four interceptions to the team. Uh, Cordell McKinney leading there on that front. Then Richard with one. And then you're just kicking, you're punting, your kick return, your punt return. Right now, like I said, we're three and four. I'm trying to get ourselves some more uh, recruits to come to our team. Uh, like I said, we already have a few. I did have another one. He kind of committed right on the spot. Fortunately, Dillard is going to uh, Iowa, so I, I, I kind of missed out on him, which is really unfortunate. Um, but we did get uh, Miles Landry, three-star recruit right outside linebacker. Um, which is nice. I'm going to contact your friends and family. That should be good. I mean, overall, let's see. Right now, he, I mean, he's influenced. Uh, Ireland doesn't look like we're going to get him. Because I don't even see him on there. So I might just kind of let him go and use my hours elsewhere. Um, yeah, Kiernan. Let's schedule him a visit. We'll do Oregon. Let's have you look at position meeting. Maybe that'll persuade him. Um, yeah, I'm kind of just like looking here. Um, I'm probably going to give some of these guys some visits that are really close. Uh, this guy, five star. And yeah, I'd like to get a five star recruit if possible. Um, this guy, I'm going to try to hard sell him on uh, something. Uh, it won't let me, but. Let's see if I can kind of remove an action and then try to get him to let's hard sell him on what can we hard sell him on that he would like we'll do hometown hero that's perfect that should probably be good even though he's not from here uh, but yeah I mean overall I'm nothing too crazy I'm gonna try to see if we get some more prospects on the books even if it's like a couple two stars, three stars, but I just want to make sure we get some talent on the team. That's really what it kind of comes down to. So anybody that's like first interest that I don't have, uh, we should definitely try to target them or top three guys. Ourself, so another commit, Corey Weil, right guard, four star from Green Bay, Wisconsin. He'll be added to our program next season. So welcome, Corey Weil. We also got ourselves Jeffrey Ramsey. Uh, Jeffrey Ramsey is a left guard from Brookfield, Wisconsin. He'll be joining the Badgers next season as well. All right, we got ourselves another commit, three-star Landry Orlando from Gardner, Texas. We got ourselves an outside linebacker, right outside linebacker, to join the Badgers program. So it's another commit in Connor Garrison from Deerfield Beach, Florida. Left outside linebacker, three-star recruit, nothing too crazy, but he'll be joining the Badgers program. So welcome to the team. All right, we got ourselves another commit here, Tremaine Christmas from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, four-star recruit. Defensive tackle is coming to Wisconsin Welcome to the team uh, for next season. Uh, fortunately, a few of the guys that we wanted to get have committed, unfortunately. Um, the season is, I think, over. We ended at 6-6. Six and six. We're going to take a look at the stats, team stats this time. i just see how we did. We might have a bowl game. I'm not sure, but, um, you know, we'll see. Try to see if we can get a couple more prospects as well added to the list. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's just take a quick gander at the team stats this season again like i said we were six and six we look at the big 10 that's where we are yeah so passing yards is somewhat near the top rush wise near the bottom we scored 26.2 points per game which is actually relatively low um passing tds somewhat high rush tds Slightly bottom half, and then defensively, in terms of yards allowed. I mean, we did a pretty good job not allowing too many yards. Passing yards, third least amount. Our rush was second worst, though, but 300 points allowed, pretty solid. Um, only 23 sacks, six fumble recoveries, 11 interceptions near the top, though, of the Big Ten. And yeah, um, we already saw the standings um, six and six, five and four in the big 10 so don't think we are in for contention for the national championship but if we can get ourselves a bowl that would be kind of nice um let's take a look here at the 
college football playoff bracket just to see and confirm. Yeah, we are not there, so hard to get there, but um, would have been nice. Would have been nice. Would have been nice, but unfortunately just did not have a good enough team. Nevertheless, um, I'm going to do some more recruiting. I'll see if I get a bowl game, and I'll let you guys know when I have another update for you. All right, we got ourselves another commit, Julius Williams, right outside linebacker from Berea, Kentucky. We'll be joining the Wisconsin Badgers next season. We also got another commit in Anthony Botta from Garland, Texans, three-star recruit, left outside linebacker. Welcome to the program. As well as Lonnie Landry, Cleveland, Ohio, three-star recruit, left tackle, coming over to Wisconsin as well. All right, so hosted by Gronk, we got the LA Bowl. We're taking on Hawaii, the Rainbow Warriors. So we got the LA Bowl. Might as well play in it, see what happens. Um, so I mean, that's cool. It'd be nice if we could win it, um, which is fantastic. I mean, they were ten and three. They were a good team. We we're only six and six. I mean, we'll see what happens. We'll do a little quick simmer, super sim action. See how well we can fare against Hawaii. I mean, on paper, we're the better team. So. You would think we should win, but knowing uh, EA Sports, that's usually what doesn't end up happening. But I mean, if we could get a bowl win, that'd be nice. I mean, that would kind of be all right for our season, but um, we're going to head on to the Super Sim and see what the heck happens. I'm really struggling to pause. Okay, there we go. I want to go to the Super Sim. So we're going to Super Sim. We're going to jump ahead to the end of the game. I mean, if I got to slow down, I'll slow down. We are up 3-0 to start it off there. They tied up 3-3 end of the first quarter. They're going to take the lead 6-3. Now 13-3. We get to make it back 13-10. Going to the second half. It is 13-10. It is a close one. 16-10 now end of the third quarter. 19-10. We are struggling to score. And we're going to end up losing this game 25-17. Shout out to Wisconsin for choking the game away. And losing to a team that you shouldn't have lost to. But... Fortunately, we did. Um, maybe it was injuries. Who knows? But not great. Not a great way to end it. Still don't have a bowl win. Uh, it was a little bit annoying. But Braden Shager, uh, player of the game there. Let's take a look at the stats, see what we had going on. Um, I mean, you guys can see uh, we got absolutely destroyed in every category. I mean, good third down conversion, though. Um, yeah, we got beat here. First down. It's total offense. Yeah, the yardage. Lost on that one. Touchdowns, attempts, uh, not going to really work out in our favor. So, all right. I guess we'll go back to the hub. Let's see if we can try to get some more recruits. Hopefully our team will be better, but I'm not sure. We had a lot of upperclassmen, junior and seniors, so it'll be tough to replace them. Big Den Defensor of the year Week, uh, Jake Cheney, senior. Two tackles for losses, five tackles, and one forced fumble. It's not too bad. I think that's what FF means. Let me down on the council if it does mean that, but yeah, welcome to, uh, congrats there to Jake Cheney. He needs to be graduating. A lot of guys graduating. I'm just going to show you guys the draft results. So, Waller went in the third round. Hunter Waller, Renfro seventh, as well as Nelson. So good for them. I did convince, uh, our corner to stay, which is nice. He was going to go to the draft. I probably should have let him go, but he's going to be a senior now, and that's going to kind of help us out. Um, we've got... We've got guys. We've got we got ice. We got ice. Um, I'm gonna recruit um, the best that I can um, to try to get these guys to um, stay here. And yeah, I'm gonna probably try to get some more try to get some more prospects on the list and see what happens into next season show you guys who we end up keeping or getting rather for our program should be fun excited to see what happens uh going forward all right we got ourselves darion key wales wisconsin three-star mid linebacker has committed to our program so another commit coming to wisconsin all right, we got another commit here marco hilleman youngstown ohio three-star wide receiver has committed to wisconsin all right another commit jamichael Dubose from Heightstown, New Jersey, three-star right end. Welcome to team, Jim Michael. All right, three-star commit, uh, Jaden Henry from Kimberly, Wisconsin, wide receiver, adding to our squad. 
uh, and program. And then we also got a five-star recruit, Geo Mulligan. Don't need a center, but I was like, let's just get him. Louisville, Kentucky, welcome to the team, Geo Mulligan. As well as Al Gray, Declo, Idaho, five-star tight end is coming to Wisconsin. We got ourselves Bruce Drummond, a four-star recruit from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Uh, that is uh, very nice, very nice. All right, so National Signing Day. So here you can see all of the prospects we got, or we had 25 of them. I don't know if they showed off a low. We also got Ghent. Isaiah Green is going to Nebraska. So we actually got 24, sorry. Mulligan we got. We go Big Hill. Uh, Maurice. So we had a pretty solid, uh, pretty solid class. And I mean, I feel like as though our class is going to be, I don't want to say it's near the top, it's certainly going to be in the top of the Big Ten. Top five. He's actually ranked 14th. So, very, very close, as you can see. Uh, couples two stars with four, seven four stars, 13 three stars, uh, which is nice. I guess the two five stars kind of weigh that pretty heavily. Um, Ohio State, man, they're just kind of kind of, kind of broken. But, hey, good for us. Um, did pretty well. Okay, so second season here, and uh, let's just take a quick glance at the team. I'm gonna look at the roster, see who we have. Um, so obviously, yeah, we brought back Ricardo Hallman. So you can be seeing a lot of seniors here. Mallman, Pauling. So our quarterback is gonna be Fink, the freshman that we got. So we'll see how he can progress. We also do have Braden Locke, though, junior. The crew, so something there. Uh, we've got Jackson Acker, uh, senior running back, so we're probably need another halfback, fullback. Still, Glaubman Jr., uh, Pauling, Williams, and Brooks Jr., top three wide receivers. But yeah, most of our good wide receivers are seniors. We have a few sophomores, though, down here, freshmen that maybe could improve throughout the season. We'll see. Our tight end of Ashcraft is not too bad. Um, yeah, there's Al Gray, 75 overall freshman. So he does Haywood, Brunner there, Schmidt. I mean, you guys can take a look here at the guards and all the positions. Malman's still here. Uh, Willard Jr., redshirt freshman. He's looking pretty solid. Uh, I like the way he's coming together Charles Riley uh, has some good decent talent on the team I mean nothing too crazy to write home about but um, it should be exciting stuff for this uh, upcoming season uh, definitely some guys that we want to try to improve upon and um, yeah, it could be recruiting that we're gonna be doing so customize my skis and schedule Oh. 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 We could play against somebody here, huh? Let's play against. Oh, wow. They're, they're a zero star. You reach no maximum game schedule. Must move a game before adding another. Oh, I can make my team terrible. I can play my make my team play against terrible people. Big Ten Championship. We get Army Navy Week. I mean, that's not terrible. Um. I mean, I guess this would be kind of... I don't know if I can, actually. I guess I could regenerate it, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep the team as is, schedule as is. But that's cool to know. I didn't realize you could do that. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to do some recruiting, prospect scouting. I mean, obviously, if I have some updates for you guys, I'll let you know. But let's see if we can get some talent on the team. Curious to see who the top prospects are. Uh, this Joey Cashman guy looks pretty good. Um... Danny Donahue would be the guy we'd want, though, I think. We do need a running back, so we'll target him. Um, I don't know if our, any of these guys have interests here. Um, Cheeseman, Church, we'll add them, as well as Tanu Uh Yeah, a couple of our guys here. Yeah, we'll throw Ben Shaw, a contract. Uh, well, not a contract, but a thing. And yeah, we'll, we'll just start with those guys and um, kind of make our way going from there. All right, so week one. We had a good week one. Tavares Fink. 
360 yards, four TDs, zero interceptions. Uh, Big Ten Offensive Player of the Week. Had to shout him out. Shout out to him. We got our first win of the week, by the way, which is awesome. All right, we got a week three Alabama Big Ten Offensive Player of the Week. C.J. Williams, 11 receptions, 170 yards, and three touchdowns. Great game from C.J. Thank you for your contributions to the program. And by the way, well, we're 2-1 and one right now. We're going to first commit here. Lewis McAllister from Mount Horb, Wisconsin. Three-star right tackle. We'll be adding him to our program. All right, we got our next commit here. Herb Cheeseman from uh, Reynoldsburg, Ohio. I mean, it's Wisconsin. We got to get the cheese on our team. Right tackle. Welcome to the team. Four-star recruit coming to our program. As well as Steve Sams or Stephen, Stephen Sams. Could be Steven, could be Stephen. Probably Stephen. Uh, Stephen Sams from Middletown, Ohio. Three-star, strong safety coming to our program as well. We got our first five-star recruit, Justice Church from Burlington, Wisconsin, right end, coming to our team. Welcome, Justice, to the squad. We also got Alex Benshaw, left end, Delton, Michigan, four-star recruit, coming to Wisconsin as well. Wonderful stuff. All right, we have another recruit here, four-star, Milo, Milo uh, Tenoy Samoa. Hopefully I'm saying that right, from... Oconomowoc, Wisconsin, four-star recruit wide receiver joining the Badgers program, as well as Donna Green's three-star, Bluefield, West Virginia. We need a kicker for next season, so he will be our new kicker. We also got Cole Sauer, three-star cornerback from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, a local kid. And then Tyrone Wetterburn, two-star recruit, San, Diego, uh, San Antonio, Texas, left end. Welcome to the program, my friend. Just so you guys know, uh, we are currently 15th ranked uh in the uh in on this season right now five and two number 15 so we're looking really good this season uh i'm loving this a lot uh we're doing pretty well let's take a look at the team stats here so far kind of just take a quick glance at what how we're looking in the big 10 we are currently third most offensive yards Second on the passing, rush bottom five, but we're scoring 32.6 points per game as top five, uh, which is looking excellent. Our defense has been pretty solid, 2,200 yards allowed. Passing yards is, eh, it could be better, but our rush defense has been excellent. Uh, 140 points allowed, not too bad. 14 sacks is uh, pretty good. Two fumbles and then interceptions. Uh, we're at the top at nine, so we're looking great. Let's try to see if we can keep it up for the Big Ten. Um, hopefully get some more wins, and um, that's really what we're up to. I mean, just got to continue to recruit. That's really what it is. It's all about recruiting, man. Unfortunately, Danny Don, he verbally committed to uh, Notre Dame. I needed a running back, and now I don't have him. So that's definitely a big loss. Also, Fouts, four-star, but um, Van Ness has locked me out. So all good. Uh, got to see if I can find some running backs, though. All right, we got ourselves a commit here. Jason Washington, three-star Canton, Ohio, free safety coming to Wisconsin, as well as Cole Brinza from Brookfield, Wisconsin, left tackle, three-star commit. Jake Genus, three-star commit from Kewanee, Wisconsin, going to be a QB for us. Uh, Dennis Smith, three-star from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, defensive tackle. Uh, lots of commits there, mostly three-stars, but hey, we'll take it. We got three-star recruit Pat Lemons, Renew Bay, Wisconsin, to commit three-star running back. Not too bad, uh, but it helps us out. Um, are we currently 7-4 right now? Had a bad loss there. Ugh, terrible. We do have Daryl Peterson, Defensive Player of the Week, Big Ten, Week 12 versus Washington, two tackles for losses, four tackles, and uh, one force fumble. All right, we got Kadeem Dobbs, three-star, Brookfield, Wisconsin, to commit to Wisconsin. So shout-out to him. That's another commit for us. And, um, I mean, I like the way our team's looking. It's looking good. I'm um, curious to see the recruiting, but we'll take a look at that after the uh, season ends. All right, we got ourselves Chad Spears, Royal Mount, Minnesota, three-star left guard committing to Wisconsin, as well as two-star recruit Dion Carruthers from River Rouge, Michigan, defensive tackle, joining our program. We love to see it. Big Ten Offensive Player of the Week, uh, Vinny Anthony, the second senior wide receiver, 10 receptions, 100 yards, two TDs for him. Shout out to Vinny. 
By the way, went eight and four on the season. I think we uh, have a bye week here. Maybe we might have a chance to make the big championship. Um, I'm not sure, but we got the architect unlocked. Um, cool, I guess. Uh, anyways, let's see here. Uh, the what are we looking for? Players. Is this it? Yeah. Okay. I think not a bad season from him. He is injured though, unfortunately. So that's something we hate to see. Hopefully it's not too bad. Um, there's Acker, uh, ATDs from him, so pretty solid. Now again, he is a senior, so he'll be graduating. We have a gonna have some other running backs coming on in, and hopefully developing. Williams also, CJ Williams had a nice year. Pauling, most of our guys are seniors here. I mean, we got sophomore uh, Kekahuna, Church Kekahuna. Uh, so I don't know, maybe he'll. Progress in terms of sacks allowed. You got to see the leaders there. Our guys for the blocking. How about tackles? Cheeks with uh, 80. So it's not too bad. You see the tackles for losses. Sacks. Six sacks from uh, Kirk Kennedy. So uh, he's looking pretty good. Looks like he's going to be developing nicely for us. You can see their interceptions to Clona. He's a junior. Um, I mean, yeah. We'll see what happens uh, with the squad. Um, will we get a bowl game? Will we get to the Big Ten? I don't know. Uh, right, it's Big Ten? I keep forgetting if it's Big Ten or the... Let me see. Standings. Where are the standings? I, I can never... F I I'm still trying to figure out the menus. Conference standings. Now, we actually are ranked number 14, which is pretty impressive, I'd say. Yeah, Big Ten. That's where we are. Yeah. Don't know if we are going to be in the running for that, but... I mean, eight and four, solid season, I'd say. Overall, you know, would have been nice to be a little bit better, but I think we had a nice year. We gotta have a bowl game for sure. We're definitely getting invited to a bowl game, so we'll see what happens. Um, we have some recruiting. I'm gonna patch that up and then uh, go on from there. All right, we got Gregory Simonson from the Milwaukee, three-star recruit, running back, joining our program. Not too shabby there. Two-star recruit Larry Carruthers, Springfield, Ohio, right outside linebacker, coming to Wisconsin. All right, we got the Transperfect Music City Bowl here. We've been invited to be uh, to play it one week against Arkansas Razorbacks. We're the 14th uh, ranked team. Unfortunately, we're not in the CFP. I don't think, um, if I'm correct about that. Um, Am I correct about that? Yeah, obviously I am. Um, but not terrible. Hopefully next season maybe we'll uh, be one of those teams that uh, that gets invited to it. But um, all good, all good. So we're going to advance that point, and um, it is early National Signing Day, so I assume some of these guys will – potentially sign uh, some of these guys didn't like Lester's gone Pitts is gone I mean these guys were still recruiting uh, Ojomo's gone so for now I mean it's it is what it is but I actually do want to take a quick gander at the classes here just to show you guys where we rank we're actually one of the better classes this year ranked number 29 which isn't too shabby overall um and that will increase we got 19 total recruits one five star three four star four a uh, 12 four three star three two star so hopefully get some more commits try to continue to progress upwards um and that's really what it comes down to so hopefully we can do it i really wanted donahue man i really wanted donahue but we couldn't get him it's unfortunate but uh, we're gonna hop on to the super sim against arizona Right now into the super sim here let's see if we can get the w against arkansas so far we're down 7-0 end of first quarter 10-0 now we are struggling to score finally get a score there 10 to 7 going to the first second half there 10-7 arizona i mean arkansas takes the lead 17-7 end of the third quarter we just cannot seem to win bowl games i mean it's we're allergic to winning bowl games um yeah horrible performance from us Definitely a choke job, 20 to 7. Um, injuries did not help. Uh, we lost our quarterback. But 
Yep. Jordan Anthony Jr. had a great game for them. So, once again, a bit of a disappointing ending to the season as we lose, but we do have a nice class coming in, hopefully, um, in our third season. But yeah, definitely a very, very disappointing uh, bowl game right there. Kind of a uh, bit of a letdown, but. Again, I'm expecting it because it is Electronic Arts Sports. Um, yeah, Locke was our QB because our starting QB, QB uh, was hurt. So, I mean, that doesn't really help. And you guys can see the overall. I mean, eh, that wasn't crazy. It wasn't crazy, but... All right, um, 20 to 7. I mean, hey, let's head on to the next season. I mean, we've got some more recruiting to do. I can still get some more players to add to the team and add to our program, so we're going to try to do that as well. Get J.J. Uh, Dre to commit three-star recruit Fort Lauderdale, Florida wide receiver. Not too shabby there. And the uh, Big Ten Defensive Player of the Week, Music City Bowl against Arkansas. Six tackles, three tackles for losses, Sebastian Jeeks. Junior mid linebacker. All right, so Holman went in the second round. So good for him. Mallman uh, went in the third, and then uh, Pauling went in the fourth. So congrats to our former Badgers for getting drafted to the NFL. We got Joey Carswell, two star recruit from Macillan, Ohio, strong safety to commit to Wisconsin, as well as Zach Potter, three star recruit right end from Franklin, Ohio. So two more recruits to add to Wisconsin's talent pool. All right, we got uh, Martin Montandez, uh, Montanez, four-star running back to Raw, South Carolina, coming to our program. Stefan Mann, three-star from Lawndale, California, right guard. Not too shabby indeed. All right, so third season's here. Number 17 ranked going in so far. And, um, I mean, if we take a look at the team here, it's pretty insane. It, I love it. Um, our QB is going to be Fink. Uh, hopefully he can stay healthy. Sophomore season. Um, we've got White, Bateman, Yakamelli is our running backs. A lot of running backs there. Fullback, uh, senior, Zach Glaudman. Um, wide receiver, we've got Brooks Jr., Kekahuna. Adams Parker, you can see the tight ends there. Ashcraft, our top guy. We're good on left tackle. We're good on left guard. We're good on center. We're good on uh, right guard. I think we're okay. We're on. Uh, wow, that freshman is red shirt is pretty good. Corey Weil. Uh, right tackle, we're good on left end, right end. Defensive tackle, not too shabby. Left outside linebacker. Mid linebacker right outside, so we're looking good. You guys can see the players we have here. Um, it, it's pretty solid. Uh, free safeties and then strong safeties, kicking and punting. So we'll see what happens here in this season. I'm excited. Uh, again, we're preseason top 25, number 17, uh, which is. I would say pretty solid, but is it good enough? I mean, the real question is we got to be able to win. I would like to win the Big Ten. I'd like to make the college playoffs. We'll see. I'm just going to keep simulating and uh, do some recruiting and try to add some more talent uh, for next season. All right, so we got another commit here, Matthew O'Brien, four-star from Massillon, Ohio. Now, I didn't mention this. I actually got a five-star right away off the bat, off from Scott to be vertically committed. And I'll show you guys who that was. Um, so we are 2-1 and one right now, by the way, which is pretty cool. So Ernest Muller Jr. was Big Ten Defense Player of the Week. Pittsburgh, three sacks, four tackles, one tackle for loss. And then um, where – what am I looking for? Oh, yeah, uh, actions. So, yeah, recruiting. That's where, I, of course, I need to be. Yeah, we got uh, Del Pasco. Just offered him a scholarship. He verbally committed, so that's huge. Uh, Chad Keys locked us out. Spruce is going to Kentucky, or at least he verbally committed there, so probably going to end up going there. And that guy is out of the playing field. So, again, I'm just going to continue to recruit, recruit, recruit. That's what it's all about, man. This is mostly, I feel like, the, the main part of the game is me kind of just 
throwing contracts out there to people. Um, or, uh, well, I don't know about, uh, well, offers. I keep saying contracts, but I think you guys kind of get what I'm putting down. So, I mean, we're just going to keep doing what we need to do. Um, you know, try to make our team kind of better. We got uh, this guy, Kuja. We'll throw him a, you know, something. Three star. Offer him a scholarship. Maybe he'll want to come to the school. Throw him the house and scout. But, yeah, so we got a couple a couple guys that are already committed, which is nice. Huge for us. Um, we're just going to kind of keep it going. We're 2 and 1 right now. Uh, 16th ranked, which is nice. Let's see if we can uh, keep that going. All right, we got four-star mid-linebacker Caleb Brockle from Columbus, Ohio, committing to Wisconsin. So welcome to the team, Caleb. We got a player of the week. Might as well highlight these when we see them. FCS West, uh, 10 receptions, 150 yards, three TDs for Tretch Jr. So congratulations to Tretch for making our program proud. All right, we got Mitch to commit here, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Left outside linebacker, four-star. I love it. It's fantastic for us. And also, JD, three-star punter from Orange, California. Needed a punter for next season. We got him, JD Kemford. And then we got Keegan Williams, three-star corner from Cincinnati, Ohio, to commit to Wisconsin. I love it. We got another commit here, Max Hill, five-star from Chaska, Minnesota, right end, coming to Wisconsin next season. Congratulations on committing to Wisconsin. We also got ourselves Froy Bryant, three-star left outside linebacker from Genoa, Ohio. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Also, too, in case you guys are curious, we're at a bye week. I'm going to show you guys the stats here for the players. We'll take a look at the season stats. Uh, Fink is having a nice season, 17 TDs, 5 yards. So he's looking pretty good as our quarterback right now. Rushing-wise, White is hurt right now we got bateman though kind of stepping in a little bit so i mean we'll see what happens there we're receiving wise we're looking pretty solid um our blocking for college i mean we've got five sacks allowed which is pretty good defensively 40 tackles from allegro um or allegro allegro i don't know like i said i'm gonna mispronounce your names uh, Willard Jr., five sacks. Kirk Kennedy, four and a half, four and a half from Riley. So open three and a half, two from McDonald. And we've got one interception to Clona. There's your kicking, punting, kick return, and punt return as well. So we're looking pretty good um, in our third season. Uh, we're just going to keep it going. We've done some more recruiting. Um, five and two right now. We're number nine ranked in the nation. We're looking really good, I got to say. So let's continue. Got ourselves another four-star, Harlem Rishad from Pontiac, Michigan, four-star wide receiver, committing to our program. We love that. By the way, we had a Big Ten offense player of the week was Chris Brooks Jr., our senior, six receptions, 150 yards, three TDs for the guy. Shout out to him and your contributions to our program. Appreciate it. All right, we got a four-star recruit, Darius Speed from Akron, Ohio. Congratulations, committing to Wisconsin, joining the Badgers. For next season, we love it. We love it indeed. All right, we got another commit here. Jacques Cujo from Wapaka, uh, Wisconsin. Three-star right guard committing to our squad. We love to see it. All right, we got another commit here. Fullback Quincy Ogbogu from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Three-star joining our program. We also got Ronnie Costello, right side linebacker from Brookfield, Wisconsin, joining our program as well. Here we got another commit, four-star Kevin Austin from Green Bay, Wisconsin, right tackle, coming to our program next season. We'd love to see that. I um, mean, by the way, we ended up going nine and three on the season, um, which I don't know if that puts us in the playoff bracket, but we were nine and three, which is a great season, I'd say. We actually are. So we are the tenth, uh, number ten, uh, in the playoff bracket. So we actually have a chance to win the uh college football playoffs and possibly even national champions that'd be insane but we'll see uh yeah we're taking on tennessee here hopefully soon um i don't know if we're gonna have a bowl game or not but uh we're just gonna advance until we get to that point we'll have another commit here zach hoke from erie pennsylvania three-star recruit left tackle joining wisconsin next season which is fantastic uh, and we have a no game this week. So 
think it'll be this week coming up where we will have ourselves a ball game to play and um, I'm just kind of waiting to see if that is the case. Uh, there's Vizina. Heisman winner. I don't really care about that. And we do. College football playoff. This week against Tennessee. Nine versus the five. Okay, it should be fun. Let's see what happens. We're going to hop on to the Super Sim. Uh, we got our early national signing day. So I think... Anybody else here sign? A bunch of other guys. I think you're going to sign Millie. These guys were kind of still waiting on Hunter. Signed to Michigan. So I think everybody here I, we already saw pop up. These guys were kind of just waiting on. So if we get them, it'd be great. Um, I mean, our class has been pretty pretty good. We're 18th total. So we'll love it. And yeah, let's go to the Super Sim and try to see if we beat Tennessee. All right, here we go. We're going to the Super Sim. We all know the rules. We're jumping ahead the end of the game here hopefully we can get the w it's gonna be a tough matchup here as we're already down 7-0 first quarter um can we actually score a little bit we get a field goal and going to the second half we're down 13 to 3 uh can we score we can't end of the third quarter it's 13 to 3 now 16 to 3 and 16 to 10 it's a close one but we will end up losing once again. Honestly, I feel like the Super Sim is like what screws us over, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't think I've won a Super Sim game yet. Isn't that crazy? I think that's crazy. But once again, disappointing end. But at least we got to the football playoff. I mean, that's promising for sure. But definitely a disappointing way to end the season. Judge to paint Lewis, I guess. He had a solid game. He's player of the game. So, Yeah. I mean, hopefully in our fourth and final season, we can maybe have some better luck, but uh, I'm certainly weary of it. So we got some players leaving here. Our man Joe Brunner is heading off to the pros, projected to be round three. Some of these guys are graduating. I guess they are not. Uh, well, we have no choice if they're graduating, but looks like they're maybe not going pro. We're actually losing a lot of guys, it looks like, so... That should be fun to see how well we can hold up. It's going to be interesting. It's definitely going to be interesting. You guys are curious, he did end up going in the third round. So now we do have our off-season recruiting transfer portal. So I'm going to do some recruiting, see if we can try to persuade some of these guys to that who haven't signed already onto our team to come and maybe even try to get a couple transfers over here as well. We'll do a little schedule visit here to you. Probably should have done uh, Coach Prestige, but it's all good. Um, send the house. I mean, he should be fine. I think we should be able to get him. I mean, he's a four-star, but I'd like to have him on my team. Anything A, we'll give you a team workout. We'll send the house to you. You're already second, so hopefully that gets you a tap one. And then uh, send the house to Bloom. We'll get you a visit. You can get a tour, uh, team meeting. Why not? And then you, my friend... Uh, we will send the house and then schedule a visit and we will give you a team meeting since that's oh no 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 i want to change that i accidentally i accidentally well i went too fast there so that's not gonna help um i don't know maybe the the house will help a little bit more but yeah that was a that was an accident it is what it is uh but yeah i'm gonna try to get some more prospects here See if we can improve our list. We got Tyrone Mayer to commit from Wamego, Kansas. Four-star halfback recruit coming on. Bloom, three-star from Sparta, New Jersey. Also another running back has committed too. So we'd love to see that. Charlton, uh, Indiana from Avon, Indiana. Three-star coming to Wisconsin. Welcome to our team and program, as well as Demetrius John from Columbus, Ohio. Three-star right end. We got Isaiah Hill, three-star from Chamberlain, South Dakota, tight end. Just trying to add as much talent as we can. Love it. All right, so we're going to our fourth season here, fourth and final one. I don't know if I did you guys roster. I don't think I did. So I'm going to show it now. I mean, I feel like our team is pretty good. Um, Fink is our quarterback, junior. Which is nice. Now, we did get Pasco, who is a freshman now. He is 
pretty solid. I mean, he's a 78 already. Well, it's, it, technically he's an 80. And he's an 81, but he's technically up to an 84, so. I mean, cool, cool, cool. We've got Montanez running back. He's up to an 85, 86, technically, because he's up. Um, then we got our fullback. We got our receivers here. I mean, I t our team is ranked number five in the nation. I feel like this is the year where we can make a little bit of noise, hopefully. You know, we made the college playoff. We got Weil, right guard. He's looking good. Got a few 90s, so I don't know. We'll see how the team does. Willard Jr. on defense. We got an 89 senior as well. That's Will McDonald. I mean, it's just there's a lot of talent on the team, man. So, if I was going to, I mean, if, if this is the year to do it. This would be the I wish we had some other pieces, but honestly, overall, like, we are stacked. I'd say punting is our weakest position. <laughs> punting is our weakest position. But you know what? Let's see what happens. Um, let's see what happens. I mean, obviously recruiting is cool. I'll still do it. It doesn't really matter too much since, again, these guys aren't going to be, you know, guys that we sort of go after. In that sense, if you catch my drift, um, go the scrambler. We'll go with Tall. He's a five star. Uh, we're just the top prospects here. Who's number one? We do need a defensive tackle, but I don't think he's gonna come. We'll throw him a contract. Muku Muku Ame would be really awesome. And you got any with interest? Uh, Hodgins. We'll throw, and then let's try to put a right guard out there. Not that it really matters. Like I said, we're going to be done. But the thing is, with this game, or with, with my thinking, is we'll pretend that they eventually end up winning. You know? So, um, so yeah, I'm going to do some scouting. We'll see how well this team does. And then we'll head on to the, uh, the giving you guys the updates. All right, well, I got to commit Paul Hodgins, Mason, Ohio, four-star defensive tackle. Uh, again, not that it matters since this is uh, four seasons, but I'm still trying to recruit anyway. And uh, Johnny Shelby also coming over, three-star mid-linebacker, Cleveland, Ohio. Not too shabby. All right, we got another four-star right end, Marquis Pollard from Watertown, Wisconsin, joining the Badgers program. Congrats to him. And uh, just in case you guys are curious, we're currently sitting at 3-1 and one here. Still the 12th ring. Got a big game against Penn State. See if we can beat them. But uh, not too bad so far. Not too bad. Got uh, Tyler Watkins to commit from Williamstown, Michigan. QB. Why not get another one to add to our program, right? All right, we got Scott Klutz, four-star. Eden Prairie, Minnesota, wide receiver. Coming to the Badgers next season. Congrats. As well as Sean Verrett, Portsmouth, Ohio, four-star right guard, has committed. We also have ourselves Big Ten Defense Player of the Week versus FAU. Kirk Kennedy, two tackles for losses, eight tackles. Not too shabby. Junior uh, route side linebacker. And um, he got it again. National Defensive Player of the Week this time. Okay. Okay. So I, that's new. I don't. I've never seen that one before. I don't think. So congrats to Kirk Kenny for getting national defense player of the week. All right, Cam Adams Parker, Big Ten offense player of the week, seven versus Northwestern, four receptions, 150 yards, two TDs. Shout out to him. Played great. You get the national. You mean? Oh, we did get the national offense player of the week as well. I was about to say. It's like, yeah, great job, Cam Adams Parker. Shout out to you, my friend. Good job, buddy. Way to make Wisconsin proud. In case you guys are curious, we are currently the number three ranked in uh, so far. So I want to take a look at the team stats here. Just a quick glance to see what the heck is going on. I mean, in terms of, like, our squad, I mean, we're looking pretty good. USC is ranked number one. I mean, they're pretty solid. I mean, not to say that we're really far off from them, though, personally. But, uh, yeah, we're looking good there defensively. Pretty okay. I mean, it could be better, could be worse. It could be, yeah, pretty solid. 
the rush is near the top. 34 points a game. I like it. Defensively, we've been good. Pass yards allowed. No, not too bad. The rush yards, really good defense. I mean, yeah, I'm loving the way our team's playing. So, we're looking good. Let's try to keep it up. Uh, we got a bye. Had a bye last week, so now we got Nebraska. Let's see if we can continue to win. I'm trying to go for the – maybe we might have some national championship aspira uh, aspirations this season. Who knows? Uh, we obviously, we have some commits. These guys, unfortunately, are not coming to our team, so we'll remove them. But um, we got plenty of other prospects in the pipeline. But, again, I'm done after this season. But just to continue the tradition of Wisconsin and making them better and better. I mean, if I wanted to do a fifth season, I guess I theoretically could. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. For now, I'm sticking to four. Spencer Greenberg, left guard, three-star, Big Lake, Minnesota, to commit to Wisconsin for next season, as well as Preston Trainer, three-star, Dayton, Ohio, coming to Wisconsin, which is nice. So, continue to build on our prospects, uh, which is what we like. All right, we got Tim Ebron from Perry, Ohio, three-star, mid-linebacker, to accept his offer to come to Wisconsin. Love it. Championship against Washington. We've been invited. We were the number one. We're the number one team in the country right now. Eleven and one. This would be. A, this is a huge game. We got to win this one against Washington. Um. But wow, yeah, we're eleven and one right now. We're looking awesome. And if we look at the season stats here, I mean, the team has been amazing. Fink has been uh, doing extremely well for us. I mean, love the way he's been playing rush wise. Montanez, 779, 7 TDs. He's looked good. Receiving-wise, Tano Samoa has been good. Uh, Adams Parker has been solid. So, I mean, yeah, the team's been playing great. Blocking, we've only allowed uh, 10 sacks, which, I mean, no, 9 sacks. That's great. And defensively, 72 from Deshaun Lee. Uh, Christian, 66 tackles, 53 from Snowden, 53 from Arnold. Uh, you can see the tackles for losses. Looks good. 13 sacks from Will McDonald. He's a 90 overall. That's insane. Our team is stacked. Three up for, uh, interceptions from a guard. We've got a bunch of other guys here with one. That's not too bad. And you got your kicking, punt return, or kick, punt, kick, punt return, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Special teams. All right. Big week this week. Uh, first off, I want to make sure we're recruiting still. Do we have any guys that are ready for visits? No. Okay. Well, we're just going to advance to that week. Because it really doesn't matter the rest of recruiting. Because I'm most likely not going to do another season anyway. I mean, you know, I still want to recruit, I guess, but we'll, we'll see if there's any prospects out there. I'll, I'll throw a couple guys. I think someone committed down here, didn't they? Yeah, a couple people verbally committed, verbally committed, verbally. Wow. Oh, my God. Everybody's verbally committing. It's crazy. This guy's not going to come here. I get this guy. I mean, that's cool. Um, I don't know. who's who's Who are the top prospects still available? I'm going to just go after them. I need a free safety. Uh, anybody open? And I'm probably targeting the people that are open, too. And we've got some good pieces. I mean, it's not... I mean, Wisconsin football is going to continue to rise up. Yeah, right tackles. I don't need them. I don't need tight end. I need a... Pos what, what's a position I need that I haven't recruited yet? I don't know. I think... Le I mean, left end, definitely. But I don't think I... I don't even know if there's any left ends out there, quite honestly. I mean, I guess we can go for you. And you, throw you guys out there. I mean, Daniel. I'll just, again, I, I usually just throw you the offer. You want me to send the house? I'll send the house. I got plenty of hours to go around and spread, so I'm going to do that. I'll see you guys at the Super Sim. I mean, we'll see what ends up happening in that game. I'm excited. Hopefully, we win. All right, this is big. This is big right here. This is big. Big game right here. We're going quarter by quarter in the Super Sim. Or half. We could do half. Can we do halves? No. Alright, 
right, we'll just do quarter. Quarter by quarter, started it off here. Wash takes the lead, we tie it up. First quarter, it is seven to seven. We're jumping ahead to the next quarter here. Washington's gonna score, can we tie it up? We can't. They take another lead, it's 17 to seven going to the half. Not a good start. We always choke in these for some reason. And we can't even score, okay. Fourth quarter now. Let's see what happens here. All right. Normal. First and 10 on Wisconsin, 30. Second and seven. Okay, ho, slow. We have a chance to score right here. First and goal. First and goal. We have a chance to score here. We're down three. A touchdown here would be huge. This is for the Big Ten Championship. So, I, I mean, this is a big game right here. First and goals. We have plenty of time. We're running it. We are going to get absolutely destroyed. Okay, that wasn't great, but... Run the, cl run the clock down. What are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, my God. What are we doing? All right. Well, at least we can tie up the game. But, like, this is terrible. What are we doing? Fink, run. Okay, fourth down. You got to go for the... You gotta go for the field goal here. It's an easy one, but that that was horrible. Alright, well we got it. We tied up the game. We tied up the game. Tied up the game. Alright, back to the super sim we go. Celebrations. I wanna go back to the super sim. But can I change it to normal speed is the question. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going, so that's the problem. Uh, can we force a fumble? No, we can't. All right, how do I go to... What is this? What is... Oh, that's hub. I don't know how to change it so that it's... Okay, I guess we'll just watch normal speed. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, clearly. But that's great defense right there. That was Christian... That was Christian Allegro, right? Allegro, right? Yeah, that was him. All right, second and nine. Um, guys. Okay, first down. Tyler Goetz, I guess that's his name. Yeah, at this point, I might as well just watch the rest of the game. Because I can't go to the Super Sim. Oh, no. Oh, Lord have mercy. Why aren't we... Ta what are we doing on defense? That was the worst defense I've ever seen in my life. Who the hell is number 42? Can we bench him? That was embarrassing. That was literally embarrassing. You didn't even tackle him. You just watched him run. What on earth was that? Oh my gosh. Okay. That was terrible. I mean, we have time. And we have all of our timeouts. But the problem is... That was horrible. The problem is... They're going to get the ball back here, most likely. Wow, great job, O-line. Great job, guys. This game's over. Woo, man. We're choking. I asked for simple things, and we just can't seem to... We just can't seem to do it. What are we doing? Think, what are we doing? Guys. Guys, this can't happen. Okay, run. You have a first down. Good, 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 good. Let's go. Okay. Hope's alive. Hope's alive. I, I, I'm stressed. These are my guys. These are my guys. Let's show out. All right, let's see. 240. Clock's running. All right. That... that that was good. That was all right. That's fine. Let the game run down. Clock run down. We really no need to rush. Great. Great. That's great. That's great. 219. 
That's great. I think, wait, is it this button? It's not that button. I don't know what button it is. Throw it. Wide open. Wonderful. Okay, 210 and counting. Rather right hit two minutes. Good. 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 Really good. All right. Second and two. Let's get the first down. Not a good play whatsoever. One of the worst plays I've seen in my life. Can't have that. Cannot have that. He had a wide open run up there. Good. First down. First down. First down. Really not. Really no need for a timeout, I don't think, but... I get it. All right, we're running it. Oh, it's in. No, it's not. It's maybe a yard. Okay, second and goal. Running in. Touchdown. All right. We got to play great defense. All right, first make the extra point. First make the extra point. That's number one. Number one. Is it share? It's not share. Okay, I, I don't know what the bu I don't know what the skip is, but we're just watching the rest of the game. At this point, watch the rest of the game. Let's go. This is entertainment for me and you, or maybe not. Force the fumble. Close. Good try. I saw the hands get in there. You just gotta play some defense. We just here's the thing. They can't get in the field goal range. Did we recover that? Oh my gosh. We are so back. We are so back. Let's go. Let's friggin' go. Absolutely clutch. I can't believe it. We're back. We are so back. Dude, was that... What was that? Arsenal? Who got that? Kirk Kennedy. Oh my gosh. And then it was recovered. Wow. Okay. Changes everything. We got two timeouts. We are in the zone. 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 Okay, that's fine. That's not fine. <laughs> oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. You can't make this shit up. What the fuck was that? What the fuck? Why? 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 You're holding the ball. I, uh, okay. Well, we lost. Now we lost. EA, all I ask is one time when I hop into these games, can we get a win? Like, can we get a win? Like, what, what, what are we doing here? God dang it. Another, force, uh, another fumble. It's ridiculous. It's a joke. All right, under a minute. I don't know. I guess there's hope. We have two timeouts at least. So, I mean, there is time, but you can't just sit there and wait. You got to get rid of the ball. Okay. Wow. Okay. See, good things happen when you get rid of the ball right away. How did we just score in 10 seconds? I, I don't know, man. This game makes no sense right now. I mean, this must be just be college football, man. Like, what is going on? This, this, this is not happening in the NFL. This is crazy. Honestly, this is really, this is really entertaining. This is a roller coaster. Well, it would be nice if we could force another fumble and then recover it. <laughs> this is this is insane. I am shocked at what is what I'm witnessing right now. I really am. I really am. I, I don't even know how to respond. But the thing is, is that they have three timeouts left. 45 seconds. Like, we have to get stops.
Well, that's not good. That was... That was not good. See, that's what we didn't need. Thirty seconds. Eight. Five seconds. I mean, that's just... It, 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 we're really going to end it on that. Really, EA? Really? Really? I mean, a miracle here. He's got time. Are you serious? Oh my god. Can we... Block. Block. Somebody block. Why are you cheering? Why are you cheering? The game is over. Why are we cheering? The game is over. Who the hell cares? I thought we had that too, but we couldn't block. That is just... I, I mean, that was horrible to witness for me. That was entertaining, but it was horrible to witness at the same time. That is so bad. Well, I don't think we're in the po playoff now because of that, but... I, I'm... My, dis my disappointment is immeasurable. I was, I don't even know how to explain, I, I don't even know, man. I don't know. Well, we lost the Big Ten. Easy to commit, that's cool, from Minnesota, four-star recruit. Not that it matters. This is my final season, by the way. And we are in the playoff. We are the five now because of that. Kirk Kennedy, big defensive, which makes sense. He had that, that forced fumble, which was awesome. But then we choked anyway again in the game. So, But shout out to Kennedy. He tried. He tried. Uh, but I do think we are taking on somebody. I, is it Tennessee? We're taking on somebody in the playoffs. So we're there at least. So that's that's good. That's good. Um, let's head on there. Oh, it, who is it? Wait, who is it? Hold on. Wait, let me see. Yeah. Oh, Bowling Green. Okay, there we go. Well, that's who we're taking on. College football playoff. All right, we're jumping ahead. We're just going to go end the game. We'll start off 7-0. We're up 14. End of the first quarter. Okay, this should be a win. They got a touchdown, though. We got a touchdown, 27. Second half. We're looking good. 30. Okay, we're winning this game. 35-10. 38-10. 45-10. What a response. 52-10. 52-13. Why can't every game be like that? 52-16. So we finally win in the Super Sim. Makes sense. We should have won that game the way we did. So shout out to us. We're advancing. So that's that's pretty neat. Offense player week goes to uh, Tretch. He had five receptions, three TDs, 101 yards. And uh, that's a great segue into our next playoff game, Arizona Wildcats. Quarterfinal at the Fiesta Bowl. Let's check it out. Right, let's check it out. We're jumping ahead to the end of game. I saw the Arizona's rankings, and I saw ours. I mean, on paper, we're the better team, but there's a good team. <coughs> this is definitely a good team. First quarter. We're up 3-0. 10-0. End of first quarter. It is still 10-0. Halftime. They have not scored. They have scored. It's 10-7. End of third quarter. They've scored again. We can't seem to score. Two minutes when we cannot see the score. So we might be out here. After being up 10 0 because we cannot score. Second and 15. That was pathetic. Third and 15. What are we doing? Can we get a first down? Probably not. We're about to get sacked. Okay, we didn't. Can we get a first down? Okay, that was nice. Okay, Fink is. Fink played great last week, and he's playing garbage this week. What is going on? 
What is going on, Fink? What are we doing? What are we doing? We gotta step it up here. Come on. Come on. Minute 49. We have time. We have our timeouts, too. Minute 49. No rush. No need to rush. Just don't fumble. Second and six. That's fine. That is fine. That is fine. Make something happen. Okay, that was weird. That was so weird. He, like... He, like, lagged in mid-air. He, like, lagged while he was running. Okay, third and four. What are we doing? We got to get a first down here. 100%. What are we doing? What are we doing? What is that? What is the... Dis what is the thought process there, guys? All right. Don't get a first down here. We lose. He's open. 15 is open. Okay, run. Get a first down. Call a timeout. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We need a touchdown. Minute five. I mean, I've seen miracles before. No words. No words. <sighs> no words. No words. Tavares, what the hell are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Tavares. Yeah, call a timeout. Like, that matters. Watch, now we're going to score a touchdown. When it doesn't matter. Oh, sack instead. All right. That's fun. Waste of timeout. Because Fink doesn't want to get rid of the ball. It's not going to fly in the NFL, buddy. Now you throw it out of bounds. Now. Now you do. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean the game's over. I don't know how to. I I I, I don't want to quit to the hub because I feel like then it's gonna ruin the thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the game's over. I I can't can't skip. Just kneel, please kneel. Kneel, kneel, kneel. Just call it. You won the game. All right. Well, I mean it was a good season until until I had to witness those two games, the Big Ten and then the Fiesta Bowl, but mostly the Big Ten one. That really bothered me. I mean, this one was annoying too, but like, oh my gosh. It sucks. It sucks. It's all good though. Thought maybe we'd have a chance, but that, that Fink really, really gets on my nerves. Gets on my nerves, but I thought we built a good program, and we still have like recruits coming in next year. So that guy's eyes, look at his eyes. Oof. But yeah, I mean, we still got guys that are gonna come in next year though, and be fine. So you know, at the end of the day, it should be pretty. We should be pretty good still anyway. But yeah, Fink was absolutely pathetic today. He was not good. Um, and yeah, we just were horrible. Honestly, we were up 10-0. The defense was doing well, and then we just lost the lead. We couldn't score enough. Well, I guess we'll go back to the hub and simulate the rest of the video. Uh, simulate to the offseason, I guess. Yeah, and look who ended up winning it. Washington. So frustrating. They got, they got the bye. Man, yes. 
All right, let's close it out. Well, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, subscribe. My camera's out of focus. Comment down below some more ideas for videos. If you want to see a specific team, let me know in the comments. Uh, playlist is down there if you missed any of the videos that we'll upload in the future. Uh, so far, we only have two. But, man. Honestly, though, we, we did build a good program. And I think if we were to keep going a few seasons, I mean, we obviously are going to be contenders. But, man, was that upsetting was that game of setting and seeing Washington win and just hurts even more but what are you gonna do you can't win them all right anyways I'm gonna head on out take care see you soon everybody and peace